All right, uh, let us talk about uh, dielectric constant. Uh, what is dielectric? Okay, uh, dielectric actually is, a, is an insulator. Okay, it's an insulator, it's not a conductor. Okay, this dielectric is normally inserted in between the two plates uh, of the capacitor uh, so that uh, to prevent these two plates from touching each other because we know that uh, these two plates have opposite signs. One is positive sign, one is negative sign. So uh, positive and negative, they tend to attract each other. Yeah, These two plates tend to attract each other because of positive and negative. So that's why we put a dielectric in between uh, so that these two plates can be at very close distance. Very close distance to each other, yet cannot touch each other. Uh, we don't want to avoid, we want to avoid them from touching each other because if they touch each other, this capacitor will short circuit. Will short circuit and uh, not, uh, not able to store charge. Yeah, not able to store charge. So this dielectric uh, is very good. Yeah, to prevent these two plates from coming to each other. Uh, another function of dielectric is uh, it can increase the capacitance of the capacitor. That means uh, uh, this dielectric will increase the ability of the capacitor to store charge. That means with dielectric, with dielectric, this capacitor can store more charge. Yeah, uh, when connected to the same potential difference, yeah, it can store more charge uh, because of dielectric. Okay, so why uh, uh, dielectric can helps the capacitor to store more charge? Yeah, this is the thing we want to find out. Okay. So we have the, basically we have two kinds of capacitor. One is a capacitor with dielectric, and one is capacitor without dielectric. Okay, without dielectric. Uh, dielectric is an insulator. Okay, insulator. Uh, for example, like paper. Okay, paper can be dielectric. Uh, mica uh, can be dielectric. Uh, there are some other uh, insulator can be dielectric also. Okay. Uh, normally, if without dielectric. We say it is uh, between the two plates is uh, filled with uh, vacuum. It's only vacuum or air or just air. Normally, actually, air is also an insulator, isn't it? Air is also an insulator. Uh, so normally, air is actually uh, known as dielectric also. But normally, in the questions, in the question, if we just simply says uh, the capacitor is with air only, uh, with air only. Uh, without giving any dielectric constant value, like uh, this uh, ER, I didn't give you this value of ER of air, uh, we, so we just assume that air is like vacuum. We assume air like vacuum, so we just assume it is capacitor without dielectric. Okay? Uh, normally, uh, if the question mentioned about vacuum and air, uh, yeah, these two normally is uh, considered without dielectric, right? Now, uh, yeah, this is the dielectric lah, yeah, in between the two plate, yeah, which separated the two plate from coming to each other. Now, uh, let's let us start off with a capacitor without dielectric. Uh, the formula is uh, C naught, yeah. The naught means uh, without dielectric, okay. Uh, when you have C naught, uh, capacitor knots, uh, it will be equal to E naught also. Uh, when C naught, you have E naught. Uh, if you have only C, then it will be E. Okay? Uh, or actually, we call this epsilon. Yeah, epsilon. Uh, C naught equal to epsilon naught A over D. Uh, so actually, this is the internal structure of capacitance. Uh, Last time, um, last time we have another formula for capacitance, yeah, which defines the capacitance, which is the, this one. Uh, uh, C, uh, sorry, C equal to, let me make this a uh, bigger. Uh, yeah. On a second. Yeah. So, uh, make this bigger. So, C equal to uh, Q over V. Still remember? Uh, still remember? Uh, this one, this formula, even though we uh, increase, the, increase the voltage, 
Uh, this one also I have to make it thicker so that it looks uh, nicer. So uh, even this, uh, if we uh, increase the voltage across the, um, that means we apply a bigger battery across a capacitor, uh, this uh, uh, capacitor will still remain on stern. Uh, it will not change. It will not change the capacitance. Uh, uh, but it will increase the charge stored in the capacitor. Okay, uh, so uh, for this formula, yeah, no matter how you, no matter how you change the charge, change the voltage, the capacitor is always still constant. Uh, be yeah, because uh, you are still using the same capacitor. So the capacitor, the capacitance doesn't change value. Uh, that means the ability of the capacitor uh, does not change. The, ca the capacitance of capacitor is independent of the battery outside. No matter how you change the battery outside, the ability of the capacitor to store charge is still the same. It's still constant. Okay? Uh, so, uh, this is uh, why the capacitor doesn't change. It is because um, and all these are only uh, external factor. Uh, this one. So, I need to change the thickness. Yeah? So that it looks nicer. Sorry for to keep you waiting. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is all our uh, external factor. It's still, they are still external, external factor. Uh, they are still external factor. They 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 won't change the they won't change the value of capacitance. Okay. Uh, but if you want to change the value of capacitance. You have to change the internal structure of capacitance. For example, like area of the plate, uh, separation between the two plates, uh, whether you insert dielectric or no dielectric. Ah, this formula will change the capacitance value. Uh, that means uh, uh, if I increase the area of the capacitor, uh, more area of the plates, more area of the plates, of course, the capacitor will increase. You reduce the distance between them. You reduce the distance between the two plates. Also, we will increase the uh, capacitance. Uh, in fact, actually, if you put a dielectric, if you put a dielectric, it allows a very, very small, small distance between the two plates because you have dielectric that separate them. So, it allows a very small value of uh, D in order to have very high capacitance okay uh, and then another thing is uh, if you put a dielectric if you put a dielectric here uh, in increase the capacitance some more so uh, the presence of dielectric the presence of dielectric uh, the big area and then the, the big area the small distance between them between the two plate will contribute to higher capacitance uh, all this will change the uh, capacitance because it relates to the internal structure. Uh, internal, internal structure of the capacitance. Okay? Uh, so the external factor won't change the capacitance, but the internal structure will change the capacitance. Okay? Now, uh, A is area of just one plate uh, of just one plate it's not area of two plates uh, it's only area we take only area of one plate why is that why only area of one plate because the charge only extracted from one plate ah, like for example the charge the charge itself we just take the charge of one plate isn't it uh, we just take the charge of one plate because we know that all the charge stored in the in the negative plate all come from the positive plate. That means all the charge just originate from one plate. Now, all the charge here all originate from one plate. It's not the it's not the charge extracted from two plates. Okay, it's just that the charge all extracted from one plate and deposit on the other plate. Uh, so that's why the charge we take charge of only extracted from one plate. Uh, so we take charge of one plate only. Uh, area also we take area of one plate because we that we know that the charge all extracted from only area of one plate. 
uh, and deposit on the other plate. Okay, so this is only area for one plate. And then uh, D is the separation between the two plates. Um, uh, epsilon naught, epsilon naught, what is epsilon naught? Epsilon naught is actually called the, uh, is epsilon naught is actually called the permittivity of free space. Permittivity of free space. Free space uh, is like vacuum. Huh? It's like uh, a vacuum. Uh, it's like vacuum or air. Okay. Uh, permittivity of free space. Uh, normally, we don't say permittivity of vacuum. We say permittivity of free space. Okay. And it is dimensionless. This value has no unit. No unit, no dimension. Okay. Um... Uh, all the electrons extracted from this plate and deposit on the negative plate. Okay, now let's talk about capacitor with dielectric. Capacitor with dielectric, the insulator. Okay, and just now is uh, for without dielectric, it just has two plates. Two plates and in the, in the middle between the two plates, there's nothing. Just vacuum and air. Okay, but for capacitor with dielectric, it has an insulator. Uh, separating the two plates okay and what's the formula the formula is uh, capacitor equal to epsilon a over d uh, last time uh, if without without dielectric we say it is a c naught e naught yeah c naught e naught but if with dielectric it is c e uh, c and e uh, there's no not there okay no zero there so be careful. This is C equal to E A over D. Yeah, E A over D. And what is this E? Uh, the E here. Uh, the sorry. Yeah. Uh, the E over here. Yeah, is this. Uh, okay. The E over here is the epsilon here is epsilon R times epsilon naught. Uh, this epsilon naught is the same as the epsilon naught here. Permittivity of free space. Ah, you see this? The epsilon, the epsilon not here and the epsilon not here is the same, which is called the permittivity of free space. And what is E? E is called the permittivity of dielectric material. Okay, both are permittivity. Uh, but E is permittivity of dielectric material because now it's not free space. It, now you have a dielectric material. Uh, dielectric material, you say permittivity of dielectric material, use E. But if a free space, like vacuum, uh, we use epsilon naught. Yeah, that's why we use epsilon naught, permittivity of free space. Uh, both of these are no unit and no dimension. Okay? Now, uh, epsilon is epsilon R times epsilon naught. And what is epsilon R? Epsilon R... Uh, you can also write epsilon r as uh, epsilon r as uh, k, uh, k, yeah, is a uh, k. Uh, so you also can write is as uh, epsilon equal to k e naught. Uh, yeah, what I can say is uh, uh, k is actually e naught. Uh, k is actually e r. Uh, k is the same as e r. Uh, k is the same as e r. And uh, what is k? K is uh, known as K or ER, they are the same thing. They are known as dielectric constant. Ah, dielectric constant. Or we also can say it as a relative permittivity. A relative permittivity. You see the symbol R here? Uh, R here means relative. Relative. Uh, it's like a comparing. Yeah? It's actually a comparison between E and E0. That's why we say it as relative. Uh, that's why we say as relative because it's comparing between comparing or ratio between uh, re, or we can say relative relative between E and E0. Uh, that means relative between permittivity of dielectric material uh, over permittivity of free space. Uh, it's, that's why it's called relative. Relative is like a ratio, you know? Relative permittivity. So these are K or ER. Uh, it has two names, which means the same thing. Relative permittivity or dielectric constant. Dielectric constant is relative permittivity. Relative permittivity is dielectric constant. Uh, uh, don't mistaken, dielectric constant is not the E. Uh, 
is not the E itself. It is only the ER, uh, dielectric constant, or uh, ER is also known as K. So where do you find the dielectric constant? Where do you find the dielectric constant? The dielectric constant is not E. It's not the E. The dielectric constant is only the K. Uh, you must multiply the K with the E naught, then only you get an E. Okay? Uh, that's very important because some students, uh, the question gives you the dielectric constant, you straight away think it is the dielectric constant, you think you straight away think it is a E, uh, which is wrong. E is a permittivity of dielectric material. Uh, you have to, this is not E, this is a, this is K. This is K. Uh, if you want to get a dielectric, uh, the permitti the, the you want to get an E, uh, you want to get the permittivity of dielectric material in order to substitute here. Uh, you have to uh, use the dielectric constant that use the dielectric constant k multiply with the e r i don't know uh, to multiply with the e naught ah uh, then only you get the e use the dielectric constant k multiply with e naught then only get the e okay so you must be careful ah uh, you must be careful yeah e is uh, k e naught uh, or e r e naught uh, so now, if you substitute uh, E with K E naught, we substitute or uh, E equal to uh, uh, E R E naught. So we got this one E R E naught A over D. Okay, yeah, yeah, E R E naught A over D. And from here we see E A uh, E naught A over D is E naught A over D. Uh, so we can substitute E naught A over D with C naught with C naught. Uh, and uh, left with ER here. Uh, ER can also change to K because they are the same thing. Uh, dielectric constant, or we call this uh, relative permittivity. Yeah, relative permittivity. So now uh, we can uh, E naught, uh, C naught, C naught just go below. So we can have this formula. K is the same as relative permittivity, the dielectric constant and relative permittivity is equal. Uh, is equal to when C naught go below, when C naught go below, it becomes C over C naught. Uh, C over C naught. Uh, and also, uh, we know that uh, this one also, from this formula, K or ER, uh, if the E naught, if the E naught goes below, if E naught goes below, it becomes E over E naught. Uh, it becomes E over E naught. So, uh, this uh, forms the definition of our dielectric constant. Uh, definition of dielectric constant. Or uh, the definition of the, our relative permittivity. Okay? What, what it means is, uh, this uh, dielectric constant or relative permittivity, it means that the ratio, yeah, it means the ratio between Permittivity of dielectric material over permittivity of free space or ratio of uh, capacitance or uh, capacitance with dielectric over capacitance without dielectric. Ah, this is the definition for dielectric constant or also known as uh, relative permittivity. Okay? And these, all these values, the permittivity of dielectric material or free space, okay, these two permittivity, E or E naught, and also the dielectric constant, relative permittivity, uh, K or ER, all these three values, they are dimensionless. They, has, they, they don't have dimension. They don't have dimension. There are no dimension, no unit. All of them, no unit. Uh, so they are just value. Yeah, uh, that means it, uh, it can be uh, E equal to 9.87. That's all. Yeah, uh, no, val no uh, they just value. Uh, no unit. Uh, maybe the ER is uh, maybe 1.5, uh, just like that. Yeah, just value, no unit. Okay, so that's all for our um, uh, these two com comparison. Just remember, with dielectric, we put as EA over D. And this A, we can substitute with E, R, E naught. Uh, e, R, E naught. Okay? Uh, but for without dielectric, just simply E naught. E naught A over D. Just E naught. Uh, this one is E. E which we can substitute with E, R, E naught. Okay? So that's all for uh, these two capacitance.
uh, let's move on to the next videos.